Good day. The time has come. We've been working on this for like more than seven months. And it's finally ready. Oh boy. How's everyone doing? We got this. Hi Alpha. Hi Phoenix. Hi Chris. Hi Ezidu. Hi Sky. Hi Brawler. Hi. Hi Momo. Hi Crimson. Hi Neo. Hello Blaze. Hello AK. Hello Moizart. <coughs> Don't do that. Hello Russet. Hello Yoda. <laughs> Hello Draconic. Have fun with the lurk. Ganyu will be here in just a moment. But welcome. I'm seeing... I see that everyone's enjoying their confetti buttons. <laughs> Hello, Vin Fox. We have more surprises besides the confetti buttons coming on pretty soon. As you were close! <laughs> As to what these surprises are, you'll just have to wait. Alright, I have my, my Twitch deck loaded. I have my things loaded here. I have my tablet screen loaded. Where are you, CSP? There you go. Got interested in what was happening while it was available. Hello, Pure V Bat. Where's Gunny? Gunny is coming by pretty soon. Hey, speak of the devil. Hello, Gunny. Yeah. And I was wondering, where's Gunny? Yeah. Our, our ex. <laughs> mm hmm. So. Uh. To explain uh, while Gunny's setting up the screen. Okay, how about now? Testing? Have, have people not been able to hear me the whole time? Apparently not. Oh, my Guaxilla reset and I think it was on the standard mute, so I had to press mute twice. Sorry. Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, sorry. I had to use the restroom, then I had to make some instant oatmeal, I had to make some tea. Yeah. I'm here now. Gunny's using the VTuber made by Caitlyn. Yeah. This is uh, my old VTuber that uh, Caitlyn Vilbrandt made for the Foxglove Comics fundraisers. Hello. All right. Oh, yeah. Cool. So, so my sudden worry of like, oh god, I didn't realize this was <laughs> seven a.m. my time. Well, I did realize, it just didn't click. <laughs> people are actually gonna be here. Yes, people are gonna be here. Good. Russet is telling me to let you know that to deliver the comic, I had to select all the pages and press Control A, and then press that. D-E-L button that stands for deliver and totally not delete. No. <laughs> no. Hi, Chris. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Breakfast burritos. Oh, yeah. Yo, I want burritos right now, but I'm eating a... I got tart. salty oatmeal. Okay. So while Gunny's opening the display... Is it not... Oh, I didn't open it. Yeah. Did I not? I did not. Yeah. I, will <laughs> I thought I was ready. I will explain how we're going to proceed with this. So... We are going to be reading pages simultaneously. Uh, no determined uh, number or no determined pattern. 
And oh yeah, we should go through. Yeah, we should go through the okay. entire history so, of the pages. Scott said that incorrectly. We are reading the pages in the correct order, in the pattern that the pages are shown. Uh, what's going to be different is that Scott and I are going to be reading them aloud, taking turns reading the pages so that we don't burn out our throats. Yeah. Okay. You explained it better. Thank you. Okay. So you want me to do the thing? Yeah. Totally do the thing. Yeah, so you all may not realize, but nearly every single page, nearly every single page of the comic was touched up, edited, or altered. And uh, we're going to do a quick preview of every single page. Yeah. Here we go. Lagging! Stop too soon. There we go. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, was what planned? The music thing? I don't know. Scott was having fun. I, 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 know, I, I planned the music, yes. <laughs> Are you in chapter zero again? Yeah, right? Uh, yeah, but I remember I needed to close all of them because... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> So, I had every single page open in Paint.net at the same time, <laughs> and it was using 31 gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to close all the pages right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, 8,000 is right. That was their whole reread. I hope you enjoyed the stream, everyone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yeah. I wish. So. I need to close every single page right now so that I can reopen just one chapter at a time, because while my computer can handle this, if I were to scroll or zoom at all, you would see it just like chug. Yeah. Yeah, we went really above and beyond. Uh, all thanks to... Well, I want to thank uh, Gandhi first and foremost for... Well, being my co-writer too. Yeah. Honestly, because... God, the amount of work is... Massive. Yeah. Establishing the the foundational truth of everything was half the time spent. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Gunny helped me a lot with basically setting the course correctly. Imagine that my entire room was a mess, but everything in there was important. This is Phoenix's first time reading. I am so sorry. <gasps> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I'm saying I'm so sorry is because Scott and I are not going to take this 100% seriously. There's going to be a lot of commentary, and I have no self-control for giving people weird voices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also want to thank Yoda for always cheering me okay, on. Okay, Scott, it's all done. Oh, okay. I, always wanna th I also want to thank Yoda for cheering me on throughout this entire endeavor, too. And he was one of my color blockers way back when I was doing the Kickstarter for the book. Yeah, and, and also super for, uh, well, super and Yoda for providing a wonderful QA. Yeah. Y'all might be wondering, oh, what kind of QA does a webcomic do? Let's get the text centered in the bubble. There's a piece of color missing here. The ellipses, the glow, there's a space the, in between. There's a space where there shouldn't be a space. There's a glow in this one panel that shouldn't have glow that's bleeding in from another panel. This point of the story doesn't make sense because uh, she said this in this page, whereas she says that in that page. And just pointing out everything that could be wrong. And so yeah. even after we did all of the Patreon page edit streams, we still had to touch up 151 pages. So I want to test one thing, and I'm going to publish the Chapter Zero cover. Okay. And what I'm wondering, I hope, I really hope, because they they were published already, all these pages. Because what I did, chat, is that I had all the published pages and I just replaced the image. But I hope that the Fox of Bud does not announce new page, new page, oh. new page, new page, oh, new page. Why didn't we consider that? I I was just thinking about that, so I'm why going did... to test oh, this. Oh no! Chapter zero. Let's see what happens. Oh no! Is it going to announce it? Is it going to announce it? Is it going to announce it? It did not. We won't. We won't know for half an hour. <laughs> Hey, that's going to be interesting to log back into. Oh, oh my god, no. they updated 30 pages? 
No, Russet, we don't have access as running in, in Caitlyn's home. <laughs> well, y'all have to I, see I, I'm trying to think of a hot fix for this, but I can't. <laughs> oh, do I, how, how, how do I kill the RSS feed? You were close. I don't know, but I'm going to go DM Caitlyn. Uh, <laughs> hold up, people. The, 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 the reading is a little bit delayed. You have my stream open on the side, right? You can see what... Uh... Oh, oh, wait, no. no I'm, I, I'm I not need... looking at it right now. I need to share the stream with you. Because, you know, we have things to consider. I, I, I like I went for this. I'm like, oh man, is it going to ping the bot every single time for 296 pages? <laughs> and covers, so about 301 files. No, it's 296 total. Oh okay. Yeah, with covers included. Oh okay. Um, no, the reason why I'm like that is because, real talk, as a community manager, we put a lot of effort into splitting up our notifications and pings into all of these opt-in roles specifically so that people don't ignore us. We don't want to bombard the hell out of everybody on a relaunch to have them unsubscribe from the SW News Roll. Yeah. That's actually a bad thing. It. So, the, as I know, the bot uses the RSS feed, right? Yeah. If I can shut that down, it should fix the problem, yes? Yes, but be careful. Okay. How do I sh close down the RSS feed on WordPress? <laughs> Except Yoda, it's not a bot, it's a webhook. The bot is, isn't is a Discord bot. I like how we're running into an issue right from the get-go, by the way. At least I don't think it's a Discord bot. Hold on. We were so prepared. Yeah. Yeah, it's a webhook. It's a webhook. Um, uh, there's no way to hurts. prevent it. No, there is a way to prevent it, and that's by disabling you a webhook. Comic uh, press. Integrations. Word webhooks. Press. Hot off the presses. Type in the name of your website and add. I could delete oh, the webhook, but I don't know how much that would mess up Caitlyn. Do we wait 30 minutes? Yeah, do I cut the red or blue wire vibes right now? <laughs> Hey, Gunny, are you looking at the OBS screen, for chance? Uh, I, I can. Give me a moment. Yeah, yeah totally activated, because I have something for you. Yeah, I'm looking. You're looking now? Okay, this is Gunny right now. <laughs> Why do you have that in there? <laughs> I can I reassign so the webhook. Hold on. Okay, so I can go to the webhook. I can reassign to the uh, gush or vent channel. Sure. Yeah. Just to, uh, I have activated the first green screen of the day. Uh, just so you know, they have five minute cooldowns, so use them sparingly. <laughs> yes, I've given power people the power to show a suffering gunny on screen. You're welcome. <laughs> there you <Okay>. go. <laughs> the webhook is set to a private mod only channel for now, so if there's any spamming, I am sorry all everybody in the staff, but it was for the greater good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so on how the actual reading of the pages is gonna go. <laughs> Got his face. Um You can see on the left we have a crit page. That's going to be me just going through what current pages we are in. Uh, before we go on to every next page, I'm going to be publishing the page on the website so you can follow along. You may have to refresh a few times to see the next button. Uh, I don't know how else to do it, unfortunately. So if you want to read along and look at the page on the site as we read along, you will have to refresh, see the next button, then press it as the pages are... Going Booster live. Analytics. 
Huh? Boost our metrics. <laughs> yeah, boost our metrics. Uh, the metrics that uh, WordPress broke, unfortunately, so. Yeah. Uh, people don't know this, but the WordPress site, uh, my analytics are broken because it doesn't work on WordPress anymore. Cool. Yeah. That's unfortunate. How many people are watching right now? How many people have, have, we, have 25, we delayed for 20? 25 viewers. 25 viewers? Okay. So yeah, if you need a link to the comic that you can click and not have to type in the URL, here you go. Join us in the read-along. Gunny. Mwah. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> no. <laughs> so who, who's going to read the, the first page? You. It's your comic. Star Warriors, Chapter Zero, How Stars Are also, Born. I can do this. Yes. So for those of you who don't know, this is another intro. I am the one in control. <laughs> yep. So I can just do like, uh, things like that <laughs> with my mouse. Yeah. Also, chat, can you confirm that you can actually see the cover on the website? <gasps> wait a minute. It's there. But ho oh no, wait a minute. I Do just figured something can out. See. What? Oh no, really? Oh, uh. No! Wait, I need to go into the page. I think uh, I'm, ga I'm gonna have to do another step for these pages. Oh, oh, no. Okay, okay, thank God. It wasn't showing me that it was uh, tagging the right chapter. It said that there was no chapter tagged, but it was incorrect. Thank God. Okay, okay, so the chapters will be tagged. Let me know when I go to the next page, Gunny. Okay. Uh, doo -doo. First page. Alright, it's updated on the site, so people can go check it out. Now uh, Scott gets to read eat my salty oatmeal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we want things to go our way, either for us or others. We wish upon the stars, hoping that things may change. Hope is alive in every one of us. This is why we wish. Regardless of how impossible our desires may seem, we continue to wish. And when we feel that our beloved wishes may never come true, we can quickly lose hope. As if our wishes are unheard, that couldn't be further from the truth. For each wish felt, a new star is born. The night sky is filled with hopes and dreams, seen by all. Our wishes are in full display. Every shining star represents a wish. Some wish for their hearts. Some wish to make their <laughs> dreams real. Some seek rage with murder in their intents, like I'm gonna kill YouTube now. And some wish to be with their loved ones eternally. So I'm gonna be turning off the music when you do every reading. <laughs> yeah, so, do you wanna point out the first edit that we've done that is very significant for this page? Gunny, well, I die? Yeah, we replaced art here, and we rewrote this entire panel here. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't help but cackle the moment Coconut Mall started playing when you were starting about, like, the wishes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute, I recognize that guy. Which one of the guys? Oh, wait a minute, if you're going to the next page, you have to let me know. Oh, okay. Because I need to edit status published update oh, yeah. press button that, that, that's true okay so you yeah. you let me know when to go to the next page i think that's okay. a better way of doing okay. it you can go to the next page now and now it's your time to read Hold on. i need to drink some tea i got oatmeal in my teeth <laughs> <laughs> oh the big ears on the right lol some wish for their dreams to come true realizing later that they were capable of so much more than they ever imagined. Others wish for better health so that they may pursue their dreams, only to find out they had the ability to help others too. How important or useful a wish may be to you makes no difference to me. Every single wish matters to us, and we welcome all your wishes to the cosmos. In fact, your wishes are vital to the universe. They are the reason our homeworlds remain safe. We protect them. I also listen to them. I know you wish with all your heart. I'm laughing because I was remembering a story of how we were just joking about Esmeralda as a creep listening to your wishes in your room at night. Oh, that's right.
Hey, it was going to be a little bit of weird language in the earlier chapters, just because we couldn't really fit it better. Just consider it old, old pages from literally seven years ago. Yeah. But it's important that it, the story still is intact. It makes more sense now, too. I think that's the... Hold, holding a potato. I just think it's neat. <laughs> oh my god, why would you make her hold a potato? <laughs> Uh, but I want to point out that yes, the cameos above are Vine Sus and Riser. Oh, let so, me scroll. There we go. There you go. Vine Sus on the left, Riser on the right. I had put my like early inspirations early in the comic, so what? Mm -hmm. What really was the final? Oh hi, Caitlin. Oh, Caitlin DM'd. Uh, oh gosh, yeah, it'll show the latest page since it last checked every half hour. I was right. <laughs> okay, so that mod channel is going to get pinged to hell. Oh boy, I'm sorry. But hey, at least it's not the public. Well, they're all typing. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, Ka Caitlin, we, we had a minor panic attack. We're like, wait a second, the bot. Wait a second, the bot. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, the bot's been handled. I moved the webhook to another private channel, so it won't bother people. It only bothers staff. <laughs> okay, let me know when to go to the next page. Of course. Oh, well, I, I'm not going to be able to do anything on my tablet after all. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm noticing. Yeah. All right, you may go to the next one. It's my turn to read. Here's a wish that seeks understanding. Well, sorry, seeks understanding. This happens a lot during the rewrites, actually, because we were had had to read as with the ellipses and everything. We have to really, really make sure that we're saying the ellipses, uh, the punctuations, and everything right. So I'm gonna start. Yeah. With... Also, Scott and I are going to do our best to not speed read because we've had to speed read the comic multiple times. Yeah. For the editing. Here's a wish that seeks understanding. Hearing your wishes brings me joy. This one is rather intri- oh, Sorry, I, I didn't mean to pause. I had a burp and I had to mute the <laughs> mic. <laughs> this one is rather interesting. I'll tend to it soon. Eternity can be boring, but hearing wishes always makes me smile. I still remember how I became who I am today. I am Esmeralda, captain of, Polaris St of the Polaris Star Warriors. And I have been for as long as I can remember. Even when I died long ago, the stars have always been on my side. So this was an edit, that's a clarification. The Polaris Star Warriors. Mm -hmm. She's not captain of every single Star Warrior in existence because that would that would insinuate that every single Star Warrior works at Polaris. We've changed it from uh we changed it from like the president of the world to the president of a country, I guess. In that regard. Yeah. <laughs> because think about how limiting that was for story. Uh, no, we did not make her look more messed up in that panel. Scott was messed up uh, since the what? start. Wait, where? <laughs> what panel? This panel, all the blood. Oh, on the remaster, yes. I made her look more messed up. Oh. This is a uh, this is a remaster page from the Kickstarter. <laughs> Any people may remember. I gotta let me know when it's my turn. Of course. Uh... Gotta go to bulk actions, apply, status, published, update, go forward by one. Ready. Boop. Even a danger, I went out to look at what we foxes called the lights of the sky. Ooh woo. It was dangerous what? to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> it was dangerous to go outside after mom left. I took my risks. It was so beautiful with the lights of the sky. I would escape every night to stare at them. I never really understood what the lights were when I was alive, but my mother always showed them to me. She said she always made wishes to them. I didn't get it. But one night, I saw a star falling from the sky. It felt like there was real magic up there. The lights in the sky were empowering to me. There was nothing I couldn't do, I thought. I had wished to become a grand leader, and it was the last wait, wait. wish I made while still alive. <laughs> How was I not already following your Twitch, Scott? I am so goddamn out of the loop. Well, now it's a perfect opportunity to get back into the loop. Hello, Kyron. Mm -hmm. Because we're relaunching Star Wars. 
or the drawings of Ezin the previous page is new. That was an awful uwu. <laughs> that 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 looked like a. Oh no. Yeah, I'm trying to eat while trying to do this at the same time. Fair. I'm also currently drawing commissions as I try to go through this and. They were not new. No. They're new as of the Kickstarter. Is the best yeah, way yeah. to put it. Exactly. So that's why the art looks more fine-tuned. Okay, you say I should have had breakfast, so I had to wake up at 6 a.m. for the stream, so I'm eating oatmeal with my mic. With your mic? Do you just, like, grab the mic, just sink it into the bowl, stir it around, and you go... ASMR stream. Okay, uh, let me know what's next page. Yeah, I'll let you know. Mic spoon. <laughs> if you read it before the Kickstarter, that's probably why it looks different. Yeah. That makes sense, actually. Okay, it should be next now. If there's ever any page that is missing, by the way, chat, please let us know. Because human error can happen. Yeah, yeah, Scott made that gunny redeem. <laughs> yeah, I made it last minute, too. Uh... That, you know, when I made it, Yoda was present, and Yoda said, thank you for this blessing. I'm used to waking up anywhere between 9 and 11 a.m. Alright, so, chapter 1, Ascension. Uh, you know what? This should probably be that. There we go. Yeah. For y'all who don't know, I actually had to program some auto-hotkey macros to automatically do all this for the stream. The whole boop boop thing. Oh yeah, Gunny did some jank setup to make everything work well. <laughs> I'm teleporting my cursor around and having it automatically click and enter numbers. Alright, who's ready for a dip in the art quality? I am. Still you reading, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be me reading still. So yeah, next page. Emmy, dear. You know going outside at night without someone older is dangerous. We must get going. Humans live very close to this area. Do not come to this place again. I just hope Corvus is still asleep. Coming, father. How much longer till those monsters... Oh, how... Sorry. How much longer will those <laughs> monsters ruin our lives? She's a child. She doesn't know how to speak correctly. Coming, father. Coming for that. Oh. <laughs> My ba baby Ezzy voices, how dare you? <laughs> Alright, let me know when. Oh, you don't have any commentary? Oh, I guess there's not no. much commentary. There's okay. not much commentary here, no. This will happen uh, very often, chat, where we will be going through the pages and the only edit is like, oh, this ellipses had a space in between them. Remove space. Yeah, there's going to be a few pages with minor edits. But we're going to have some major it, it ones. It's very much a case of, if we're going to be touching every single page, we might as well touch every single page and just get it over with. The next one is up. And it's your turn to read. What were you doing out here so late anyway? Well, I was making wishes. Just like your mother, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Risking yourself at night, <clears throat> it must be important. <laughs> I'm, I'm resisting. I wish to be the leader of the pack. I don't think a wish can turn you into a male, sweetie. But aren't there any alpha females? Any at all? No. No! <laughs> it is too late, Neon. So it's between <laughs> the words and, and the text with bubble in the last panel. Wait, why? It is pretty snug, and it's too, the issue is that these earlier pages are, like, flat rendered. Yeah. There's no way to edit these bubbles other than redrawing them. Consider it as a vintage part of the comic. Yeah. We only redid bubbles if it was absolutely necessary. Otherwise, we just kept the bubbles as they were, and we just... Actually, fun fact, a lot of bubble tails had to be added in this comic. Like, on the top right there, if you can circle the tail there for Ares, that was added in, because that didn't exist. There's a lot of fixes like that where I had to add a bubble tail to a character speaking off-screen. 
Because, uh, I didn't do that stuff. I didn't do that shit. Which was a big problem, as you can tell. Mm hmm Uh, let's see. Going to the next one here. We can go to the next one, getting. <clears throat> I guess I should update first, give it a few, uh, few moments, and then say next one. Because people are trying yeah. to read along too. Yeah, that's true. Right. But dad, if I promise not to go out anymore, I get to be an alpha female. Deal. Honey, you know that I don't make deals. I was eating my oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's not my fault. Is it? <laughs> Why, what's wrong? Neon, you just call me butt dad. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know. I, part of me was trying to channel like Simba in there too. I like Simba from Lion King. Mm -hmm. And all I just heard was the butt dad from Simba when he's trying to wake up his father. Yeah. Every time I hear somebody say like, butt dad or butt mom, I'm going to immediately think of the, the parent of posteriors. Did you just call me butt dad? Why would you give us this info? <laughs> Cursed info. It so, Neon, this was <laughs> Scott's original page resolutions. Oh, no. It's not double wide. It's, I think it's a little bit over one third height. Yeah, it's part of what made that Kickstarter book print really hard to make. It's double shorted. Yeah. <laughs> it is double shorted, yes. Alright, let me know when. Okay. So I was trying to eat a pop tart and I forgot my duties. <laughs> hey now. It's up. It's your turn to read while I eat a pop tart. <laughs> Oh yeah, for those of you who have the physical book, it is now a uh, collector's item. It's the only way to see the original pages. So if yep. you have your book, you can actually compare as we go. For the first three chapters. Yeah. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Please, Emmy, don't give me that look. There will never be any alpha females. Besides. Being a leader is a silly wish. Oh yeah? What kind of wish do you have then? I just wish that all of us were free from those humans. That is what I want. The monsters? The ones who took mother? Yes. A yeah, very good idea to get a further equi further the yeah. funnel equinox. I'm going to be at for fun equinox. You better get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 Centrum, Centrum, Center, Center and more, Cent Center is nose. You know what I mean? Trying. There you go, boop. If you want to boop center, someone, it's a little bit above center. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to boop something on the screen, well, now you can. Uh, well, well, let me put the green screen. <laughs> no, not again. What is he gonna poke now? His chest. Remember, all green screens are have a five minute cooldown. Green screens. Green screens. So use them sparingly. <laughs> hey now. Oh, I did this backwards. Uh, okay. I'll let you know when to go to the next page. You'll see, pure v bat. All right, should be on the next page. Oh, hey, it's one of these pages. Oh, hey, I get to read it. Cool. <sighs> Humans are destructive in nature, Emmy. This is why we hide your... Uh, sorry, this is why we hide. Your mother's golden fur was one of the things I loved about her. Humans did too, apparently, and they took it. 
Those monsters hunted her down and stole her skin. And all they do is use it to impress other females. It's almost as if they abandoned their true na the true nature of their beauty. They mask it behind the beauty of others. Emmy, I've told you before, going outside is too dangerous. I don't want to lose you too. Humans made me realize that the world doesn't belong to everyone anymore, despite what your mother used to say about them. Ares again? Sorry, brother. My daughter ran off. Brother, this has to stop. <laughs> she can't keep going out like that. I I'm sorry. No! This is far too dangerous. If Emmy doesn't change her attitude, I will. You don't want me teaching her the way we were before your mate came along, do you? Leave that alone. It's my fault. I just went out to look at the sky like I... Swipe. Uh, you forgot to scroll down. <laughs> yeah, okay, I was like, brother. <laughs> I started to cackle and to mute myself because when we were reading the pages and editing, I kept doing a Hulk Hogan voice of brother every time <laughs> brother was said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, evil uncle. He's not evil. He's misunderstood. No, he's not, he's not evil uncle. It's just Scott giving evil voice. Yeah, yeah. Also, you'll see. Remember, they are foxes. They are not human. So, hitting. What are you insinuating? Oh, I may see that they're animals. No, because oh, they're not evil. Remember, they're not human. Oh, I guess. Oh, sorry. I remember, like <laughs> way back, someone was like, "I can't believe the uncle would hit their, uh, you know, their niece that way. What's wrong with them? I can't believe they would do that." And I'm like, "Oh, yeah. what? Do they're you animals. want me to? Do you want?" Emmy to like be grounded on her basement or something and that's not a thing <clears throat> okay let me know when I'll let you know when oh hey we got sonic music <laughs> oh no not for the upcoming pages no <laughs> yeah 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 you can do it oh yeah it's up everyone you can do the next one How dare you? Stay down, Ares. You know you can't compare to me. She's putting us in danger, just like her mother. <laughs> <laughs> we can't keep risking our lives like this anymore. Ares, do you see what I see? Fire. It's human fire. They found our cave. Compared to, uh, fiery fire, I guess. But the dialogue still holds. Yeah, this one didn't see any edits, I think. Unless, no, there's, a, like, there's like an ellipsy edit. Yeah. Here and there. Uh, the bubble had to be... Sorry, not the bubble. The dialogue had to be reshaped for the bubble. The middle one where uh, um, Corvus is like, I'm angry. Uh, that bubble like had some centering issues. There's a lot of problems with centering too in the previous edition. Oh, I had to center all the text because I didn't know how to use bubbles because I'm a dummy. You wanna you wanna tell them what I learned, Gunny? Oh, yeah. So even before this edit and everything, even during page production, like up to two years or more ago, a common thing in the whole pipeline has been Scott center your bubble. Scott center the dialogue in the bubble, and just keeps coming up over and over. Uh, through this editing, I was convinced there has to be an easier way. Scott's probably just missing something. Mm -hmm. I googled center text the CSB center text in balloon. First result was a YouTube video, randomly clicked in the timeline, and the first thing I heard was, just click the balloon with your text tool to automatically center the text. <laughs> no! And that was it. <laughs> that was it. All this guy had to do this whole time was just click the balloon with the text tool to have it automatically centered. You can go to the next page, by the way. <laughs> Scott wanted to die, and I was laughing hysterically because he tried it and was like, oh, it worked. <laughs> it, just, it just worked. You can go to the next one. Excellent music. <laughs> okay. Um, this is what happens when we just run up out. You should have been paying more attention. They obviously followed you both here. Sorry, they obviously followed you both here. She is as useless as she's always been. Oh, I 
We didn't want this to happen. None of us did. It's all my fault. Uh, how do I do grown up as Merle then? I just wanted to be a leader because I wanted to show that I was brave. <laughs> I didn't thought of my father's wish. Safety is all he wished for. And I wanted to prove I'm a leader. Wish granted. So... Oh wait, oh wait. You didn't read the last and one. And Emmy, what are you doing? What am I what doing, doing, honestly? <laughs> Uh, I had the reflection of the of the cave thing on the left on Esmeralda's eye. Nobody will notice, but I'll nail you know so that it's in your... Yeah, it's very blurry, but it's there. Now you know this information, you will never go away. Inception, baby. Uh, not much changes here. Yeah, this is... <clears throat> you can go to the next one. And it's your turn. <laughs> I would get this page. <laughs> I can't resist. Emmy! <laughs> I hate you so much right now. This is why I can't resist the goofy voices, because it just fits so well. <laughs> Emmy! <laughs> My God, Gunny. What do you think you're doing, Emmy? Emmy! Do I have to Wait. bring out the other green screen already? Please, Please come back. <laughs> See, even Trick agrees it's a lot of fun to say out loud. <laughs> stop. The video didn't load earlier. Weird. Please. Uh, okay. Emmy! What do you think you're doing? Emmy! Emmy, wait! Please, come back. Stop! No! <laughs> don't move! <laughs> this is gonna take forever. <laughs> oh, it is! Just so you guys know, we slotted this stream to take 11 to 12 hours because because we can't control know. ourselves. Yeah, exactly. Like this. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't worry, it'll all be recorded. Yeah, so it's, all, it's to, going to be in the If you have to use the restroom, if you have to use the restroom, if you have to exist, wait, wait, wait. if you have to eat, if you have to exist, if you have to be with family, if you have to go to work or whatever. Don't worry, you can catch the vod later. Which reminds me, hello uh, YouTube or wherever this vod is. I hope you're enjoying oh it. Bing bang boom. Why did I say okay. that? Okay. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know. You can go to the next one. Okay. No. I don't want to lose you two. I gotta stop this voice. <laughs> you have to Abby, stop that voice. For come your back own here. Sake. You're not thinking clearly. At the time, I felt like I wasn't moving on my own. But I knew that something had to be done. I remember at that moment, I was nervous. I never understood why I didn't fear death. I wanted to make myself useful for once. I didn't want my family to die for my mistakes. I wanted to prove that I could make the right decisions. That I could be a leader. Not much changed really here, except for ellipses, centering the text. Yeah, this is a pretty unchanged page. Yeah. I really do like the fox's interpretation of the fire entering the den. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you do. I, I I just was going for, like, what does fear for, like, a fox look like when there's fire outside of a cave, you know? Especially if it's encroaching in, or, like, you know, imagine the human just, like, going in with the torch, like, huh, oh, what's over here? You know, it's, like, going in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, you can see the flame of the torch if you look really closely at that panel. Like, if you look at that one. See where, like, there's a torch flame in the middle? Yeah. It's the little things. Even back then, I like to do the little things. The next one is done, and this one will not count for your... Your... Oh, wait, it has dialogue. God damn it. So I guess it does count. You get to read it. Alright, read it. 
read it? I've been muted. Raise up high! <laughs> 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 I muted myself because it was coughing. I forgot to unmute. I pulled a Scott. Yay! <laughs> I'll read the next page. True. Okay. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I've allowed you know, this. I've done this to myself. You know. Yeah. What? Taking a dump. No, don't say these things. What the <laughs> <f> <laughs> She's landing from an enormous leap she had to do. Yeah, but if you ang if you angle it, it changes the context. If you if you angle anything, it changes the context. If you're sleeping and if you angle it uh like ninety degrees, you're like uh sleeping but vertically. Yes. <laughs> that just proved my point. All right, tell me what's next page. Uh, oh yeah, it should be up now. Oh shit, cover that up. <laughs> That's one of my favorite ones. I call this the Pikachu page. Stop! <laughs> Everybody that, calls it the Pikachu page. Not everyone. Everyone's now going to call it the Pikachu page. They awesome. did it before, but now they will. <laughs> totally will. Oh, geez. Where was it? Uh, Super didn't edit. Uh, let me find the edit real quick. Hold on. Oh. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm giving Chet the power to mess with the green screens. Uh, and I think I'm gonna keep the green screens for my future streams, too. That's gonna be fun. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> talking about? <laughs> uh... Alright. <laughs> Let your kids watch it. <laughs> All right, will you read the page? Right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the stars and a bit of, I messed up. As I felt my body weaken and my soul dissipate, I saw the stars in the sky and felt relieved. I felt as if they took my pain away. I was so happy that I could stare at the stars one last time. And then the next page is ready, of course. Oop. Yeah, this is a remastered page. Literally, this is the one page that had no changes, by the way. No changes to this page, but still a pretty page. There's no dialogue, so just take it in. T take it in, everyone. Just enjoy. You were close! <laughs> still as weaving signs and performing ninjutsu? How dare you say these things? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Better luck next time. Oh. <laughs> oh, you mean this thing? Oh, no. So yeah, uh, we can... you'll learn one day. You'll learn one day. Okay, so <clears throat> next. I get to read. Huh? You should have had a Tim Allen voice clip ready to go. Oh, I, 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 no, I can do it. <laughs> it's easy. So yeah, let me also immediately uh, uh, publish the next page. Yeah. Wait. Nani. Also, hi, Trick. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Trick's been having a good time. Yeah, you can go to the next one. I I'm gonna read this one since I had a <laughs> to read. 
Greetings, child. I'm sorry about your... Well, premature demise. You were very brave to concede your own wish in order to keep the ones of your families alive. But it's not over for you yet. We have kept a close eye on you throughout your life. Your valorous act surprised us. Though we should have expected no less from you. What is that voice? And here's the big edit of the... <laughs> My god. So... Yeah, so huge edit. Massive edit. No Stella's more voice. weird text. Yeah, Stella's voice has changed. It's not this crazy curse of font floating in space anymore. Oh, look at that. I can read Stella's voice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's two reasons we made that change. Two massive reasons. One, readability. I'm dyslexic, and other people struggled to read it as well. And two... It was very hard to read. And two... two people gave it way more importance than it actually was meant to attribute. Like, yeah. It, it, people were saying, oh, with a uh, character having a font like that for their dialogue, I imagine raid boss level from, like, Elder Rings or something. Elder Rings? Elden Ring. There you go. People were attributing the font to mean power or dominion over space. It's like, mm -hmm. no, it's just supposed to be a pretty voice. So, like, there was so many theories being woven around that font being that way. It's like we were misleading readers and they're missing the actual story as a result. Yeah. So Stella is now speaking with a normal voice. Yeah, look at what Momo said. I thought it was like the god of the whole universe. Exactly. And the entire the god of the whole universe. Exactly. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Anyways, uh, Vent Fox has a very good question. When did I first team up with Scott to write the comic? Technically, we don't know. Yeah, actually. Um, the reason why that's the correct answer for we don't know it's because my title of co-writer came to be uh, about nine months ago. That's uh, officially, Because though. nine <laughs> months officially. It was nine months officially given to me as a title because we realized for years, maybe like four or five years, I had been doing everything that a co-writer does. I helped run the Kickstarter. I helped write the Kickstarter. I mm -hmm. helped with Scott. I helped write Scott's Patreon. Yep. I've been helping with story beat issues. I've been pointing out issues. I've been helping with uh, QA. I've been doing everything. The only thing that I wasn't doing, well, the only thing I didn't have was complete access to the story to help before pages started to become public. So we kind of said, okay, I offered to Scott, like, I'm doing all this. It would be so much easier if I was your co writer and you just laid everything on me. And we hashed everything out. And then you died. And that's how I became co-writer. And then that's how the yeah. soft rewrite started. Yeah, I gave you all the lore and then you died. Yeah. <laughs> it was literally a case of, okay, lay everything on me. Scott laid everything on me. I was like, everything you just told me is not in the comic. And Scott said, yes, it is. I said, no, it's not. And mm -hmm. I proved it. And Scott was like, crap. And thus the soft rewrite happened. Because... Yeah. This was seven months ago. Yeah, that was seven months ago. So, it, like, this whole relaunch is happening because uh, Scott got help with uh, from a co-writer, yeah. me, to put everything back in its place. And, and then we're going to have a better story moving forward. Yeah, it's not that we're changing the story at all. Like, the story is the same. Is The story is as, is as I have intended from the very beginning. Um, there's only, like, one or maybe two very tiny, uh, what, what do you call it? Like retcons like very, two very small retcons. there's some very minor retcons yeah but the story is as intended and now people will be able to see the story as i intended to be because when gunny said that it didn't make sense and the story is not there i'm like oh shit well wait if people understand they haven't said anything about this and apparently they didn't say anything because they were just enjoying the comic and they didn't comment about how oh stella's text is weird oh this symbol doesn't make sense here or oh this character uh, I thought that they were this the whole time. Are you sure? It also yeah, doesn't we... help that there was a lot of secret text because Tumblr era. Yeah, I think, I think 
we could ramble about this forever, but we probably don't have time to. So to wrap up this topic, think of it this way. Scott was going to reveal something in upcoming pages, and he was expecting me to freak out and enjoy it, and I just said, I don't get it. And he had to explain thing after thing after thing, and when he explained something, I was like, I don't get that. Uh -huh. And he had to explain more for me to get that. And it was just layer after layer after layer of hidden story that was never told to the public. And once he showed this entire timeline of events that happened outside the comic in order for this upcoming event to make sense, I said, either don't do that or we have to fix up the comic. Yeah. And I went for fix up the comic because the story that was there, I didn't want to lose it. I fought hard to keep the story alive. Yeah. It doesn't help that was all in your head. But now it's all on paper. Mm -hmm. uh, Exa it, exactly. I'm now officially the co-writer after all these years. And as Trick is saying, lesson learned, comic creators want you to complain about their comics. You know, that's really funny. I had a comment section. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Which is by now, by the way, the comment section is gone from the Star Warrior site. If you want to comment, you know, join our Discord. Right? Yeah. But in the comment section, I would never get... Only very there's no, rarely. There was nothing constructive. There's there was nothing only hate. never constructive. I remember I got one where I was like, ah, oh, your resolution of your comic is so big. Why are you doing this? I'm like, that was the most constructive thing I got. And it was very toxic, too. Yeah, it's, it's the issue with having a comment section through anonymous means. People don't have a filter. They aren't considerate, unfortunately. And and that's a blanket statement. But it, it the nicest people reach out through other avenues. Yeah. So it just leaves the comment section on an indie website kind of barren and it leaves only negativity. And like Scott had to spend a lot of time going through and approving or disapproving comments and yeah. it was just too much time spent. There was a moment where I would get spam notifications on someone was spamming comments like buy this Rolex watch at website. <laughs> and I had to install a bot that would just remove every suspicious link. But yeah, we can move forward to the next one. Uh... It is fantastic. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, all the constructive comments and all the comments that really helped me was on Discord from like day one. Even yeah, when... I, I agree, Trick. Yeah, it, even from the original uh, Star Warrior Discord. It was constructive then immediately. All right, next page. Yeah. Oh god, this, oh, I, I'm I'm already looking at it. <laughs> I hate that it was there the whole time. Yeah, just read the page, <clears throat> or am I reading the page? I don't remember. You're reading the page because I read the previous one. I'm, uh, okay. Get ready. How the hell? I'm gonna pronounce that first bubble. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah exactly if social media taught us anything is that people need to feel like they're a part of a social group with appropriate behavior rules for yeah that it, it i'd better be nice and sink to kick in exactly mm -hmm. yeah the whole tim allen is like Hur -hur. like that's what comes to mind with the first uh i know you may be confused and that everything might seem bizarre all souls ascend to the cosmos to rest from the life they had until they are ready once more to live again. That is your homeworld. So, who wants to guess what fix was here? Chat? Any, any, any takers? Anybody with a book knows what we fixed. Yeah, 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 but don't look at the book, that's cheating. Look at the book. Don't look at the book, it's cheating. <laughs> Cheat. Don't it's cheat. A test. Don't, don't, don't. don't let Gunny persuade you from cheating. Arzadu got it. Removed her arm. Yeah, Arzadu got it. Yes, so, for those, okay, I'm not gonna spoil, and uh, I'm not gonna spoil because there's new people reading. So, yeah. I'm just gonna say that if we had the word Earth there, uh, yeah, that's not possible. <laughs> it was, they used to say that's Earth, it's not Earth. It was intended boom, to boom. be like, oh, this is like your Earth or something like that, right? But, Again, he pointed out that that doesn't make sense because we're telling this story in the planet Earth, so what are people going to think? <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it it was very much a case of oops. So that was another thing for the software. We were fixing paradoxes. There were some paradoxes we had to fix. 
And it was really funny too because we were going through the the very beginning of the rewrite. We were like going through the first few chapters of the book. And we're like, exactly, Momo. Uh, we don't have to change much, right? And then Gary, like, look at this right here. Look at this page. Tell me what's the problem. And I looked <laughs> and I just wanted to, you know, I grabbed the book. I'm like, oh no. Caitlin says there's a typo. Where is the typo? Where's the typo? If there's a typo, I can fix that immediately. Oh, is there? <clears throat> oh, there's two Z's and one R instead of one Z and two R's for bizarre. Ah, yeah. If you see typos, also point them out to us. I'm going to keep a log on the side just so that this isn't lost. Uh, I'm not gonna fix it now. Then I'm gonna fix it after. We're gonna do the the fight. This is the final QA pass. Haha! <laughs> Tricked ya, you sons of a! <laughs> this is the your real QAs now. <laughs> <laughs> what is my payment? Zero dollar. What the hell is this? <laughs> now, if you're familiar with our Patreon, you pay us to do QA. Thank you. Uh, Yoda, Yoda revealed the, the final uh, green screen we have. Well, what was it? I missed it. Oh, oh, I can show it to you. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure Yoda is just fuming right now. <laughs> Uh yeah, so this is something that QA missed. Mm. Thanks, QA. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah, we're pretty sure QA missed this. Good job, QA. Not our fault at all, no. I'm innocent for once. Alright, next page ready. Wait. Okay. As I was like building up to maybe like fix this five minutes. I'm gonna do fixes after not now do, do it after that now would just be too much can you imagine if there's like a big fix like oh you have to change an arm i'm like oh i remember one time you mixed you mixed up what was left and right for which arm was missing it was hilarious not in the page edits but just during production at one point yeah i know all right ready fear not child i am stella major a goddess of the stars Though you are young, I want you to join the Star Warriors. Trademark. Title drop. Title drop. <laughs> okay, so the big change here was A, Goddess of the Stars. Yeah. A, Goddess of the Stars. She's not the Goddess of all stars. <laughs> Originally, when I wrote this, it was that she was, well, like, very early in production, like, 2014 we're talking about like before the pages were even on uh the uh, the upcoming gods were different <laughs> yeah this was back when the story was still forming so we had to fix up all the written dialogue to match what is currently the story not the story that was originally developed yeah because another lore, lore yeah another thing is that Star Warriors was so <laughs> I was oh, making tell that. Yeah, I was making a separate uh comic. And Star Warriors was going to be the spin-off. <laughs> Can you believe that? Like or back in 2013 when I was developing this at the beginning. Star Warriors was the spin-off. It was not the original. <laughs> What the hell is this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you can go to the next one, by the way. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprise, everyone! Woo! Oh, this is your page. Nice. I get to eat Pop-Tarts. We defend the starry skies and beyond. Anything able to make a wish can join our cause. Even a young one, such as yourself. Should one of us witness a mortal life fit to join us, God invites them to fight for our divine cause. To be sworn to the stars means to protect mortal wishes and fight off the darkness that looms beyond. If we don't make wishes come true, there are consequences. To answer Russet on what was the original idea, I'd rather not say just in case. Because you don't know if it's gonna make come back as something. Oh, that's true. Yeah. It may get redigested. So... Um, one of the big changes here 
it was just saying that in general, gods ascend star warriors. Mm -hmm. That may seem pretty simple here, pretty straightforward. It was incredibly cryptic before and it confused people. Oh, yeah. When will you learn that your actions have consequences? All right, ready for next page. All right, gonna publish. Are, are my pages been published correctly, chat? Yeah, so I would like to know if publishing is working. Yeah. Let me know if I screw up at some point. On the website, that is. Yeah, on the website. And that's a lot of cases of like Star War Warriors ascending other wars. That's that was originally the case too. From original development of the story, and I skipped the thing and I never changed it. <laughs> All right, go next. <laughs> <clears throat> This task is not a minor one, but you have all the qualities of a true stair warrior. You are pure hearted and a dreamer. Qualities inherent of a true leader. Stop drawing on her face. You have great spiritual <laughs> qualities in you, although there is one problem. You cannot live again as a mortal. Think on it as long as you want. What? <laughs> Decided already, even if you can't be alive ever again? I am forever grateful. Many turn away our offer. You're truly fit for the task. Who dares laugh in my presence? Says Stella Major. <laughs> I know I said Stair Warrior. I did that on purpose. <laughs> Stair Master. <sighs> Imagine just, just Emmy without the arm trying to go down the stairs. She just falls over and... Oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's like I told you about those stairs, bro. Yes, she keeps falling over. She's a true Stair Warrior. Or stare. Oh god, the puns are coming. All right, keep reading. Didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, no. Yeah, it, it, that was it. Oh, okay. Uh, let's get to publish the next page. I am actually so happy I pre-loaded every single one of these pages. By the way, I can because imagine. it took me ten hours to load all of them. You're welcome. Uh, next page. Oh, joy, I get to read <laughs> this page. Yeah, baby! Let me drink some tea real quick. Yeah, honestly, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, what didn't it come up? Damage. Huh, I don't know. Huh? You oh, must purify your soul and allow it to accept the cosmos. It will take a bit of learning, but soon you'll be able to become a Grand Star Warrior. Now, we must go to Polaris as soon as possible. The Council will grant you a Master that can guide you into becoming a great Star Warrior and learn all you need to know about. Are you listening, young one? Resist the urge. Emmy Ice, <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> young Soul, can you hear me? Pay no attention to your surroundings. Transcending is easy. Many Star Warriors struggle at the beginning, but all it takes is will. You could become a Grand Star Warrior, but you must use your own willpower to become one with the cosmic flow. This power is yours if your heart desires. I'm going to interrupt real quick. Every time I read that line, Captain Planet plays through my head. <laughs> the cosmos flows through you, and it's all you're doing. It's as if you were born to be a Star Warrior from the start. Now that you are a Star Warrior, I must warn you, there's still some hatred within you. Emmy, do not let this hate take control of you. Troubling times are ahead, and the universe is about to be torn asunder. I shall prepare you for the trial you must complete. This takes quite a substantial amount of stardust. So, let's give you just a bit of pure humanity. Apparently, Gunny is hidden under the page. Rainbow too strong for this. Oh yeah, the rainbow texture was what was covering your pain. That's why you didn't show up. Oh. Emmy is pogging. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, um, there's a lot of changes here that are like they seem minor, but they tie the story together. 
we can't comment yeah. on many of them, unfortunately. So you're gonna have to speculate. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -ba -ba. Getting abducted by aliens over here. Oh, really? Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me know in sex page. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Aren't we all? Aptly. I don't say apply, I say aptly. I don't know why. You can go to the next one. I'll keep an eye on you. You can pass the trial. I know it. My, I've never seen someone change so soon. I wasn't prepared for this, but welcome, young one. Welcome to the cosmic realm. <laughs> I was about to take a big bite of oatmeal, and the way you said that, but welcome. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> it's the kazoo. Oh, no, no, the, the recorder one. Oh, the, oh yeah, the, re the recorder one specifically. Yeah, Death so, uh, finds a way. <laughs> yeah. So, did you know that Star Wars is an isekai? No. no. <laughs> now tell me, are you a boy or a girl? You get free pants if you become a star. Yeah, if you don't have pants, you get free pants. They're provided to you. Oh no, this is just like one of my Japanese animes. Snake! Let me know what's next page. Yeah. Oh, uh, what one of my favorite uh clips of the voice actor of Arakan is how Arakan is trying to alert uh Silent Snake that Hatsune Miku is in the battlefield. <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you have you heard it? No. Oh god. I, I, uh, amazing. Can I I wanna play it after when we get to chapter two as a, a little break reward. Okay. It's so funny. Uh, next is published. Yeah. Oh, this is you. Oh, I turn to put oatmeal in my mouth. <laughs> okay, I'll read that for you. What? This is unexpected. Your body and color have already been formed? Strange. What have they done to me? I just wanted to be a Star Warrior, not this! It would seem that Cosmos has deemed that your form should be slightly human. No! Stella, what just happened? I, I, I kept this music because it felt funny. <laughs> Emmy partial kitsune? No, no, she's a fox. Not kitsune. It's not the cosmos, but cosmos, that person she's talking about. Yeah, Russet noticed the change we made. <laughs> I think that's one of the changes, right, Gunny? Yeah. What if during the transformation scene, the PMD quiz theme was played? Da, 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 da. <gasps> hey Scott. Yeah. Oh, it's because uh, you know, vintage. Stop looking at specs <laughs> of like bad art. Ah, <laughs> uh, they do Gunny dodged the poke from the belly button. Alright, ready it's, for next page? Yeah. Um Yeah, it's ready. Okay, now since you had oh, you get to read this one. Get the tall Goodbye, pages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, no no Ryan. Don't let your kids watch it. <sighs> I do not want to look like this. I don't know if I want to. Zing. 
<laughs> Saul snicks the alert sound. The lights of the sky. The stars. I can see... No, wait. I can feel them. I can sense every single star. There's so many wishes, I can barely sense them all. I... I never knew how many others wished like Mother and I did. Most are dreams, some are desires, and the passion that lives in every single one of these wishes is amazing. If I close my eyes, I can also see them. These goals. These people all intend such different things. Could all these wishes possibly come true? They seem to contradict each other. At times, it feels as though all wishes cannot come true. Whenever their wishes fail, it is mostly because they have lost hope. I can hear voices. They want to be granted. If this is the power I have, being slightly human is not that bad then. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what we edited here. It's so much. We changed lots of little just language things here. There wasn't much story in it. <laughs> Oh, actually, no, this wasn't changed, but... No, nah, okay, never mind. We can go to the next one. Even the half page. But what if we can't... Well, there's a lot of dialogue here! But what if we there's cannot make all... There's a lot of dialogue all... in mine! What if we cannot make... <laughs> I'm reading that, and I'm wondering, do I abbreviate it to can't? What do you think? Is this something we should change? But what if we can, can not, you know? Yeah, also that shouldn't be a space there anyways, so I'm gonna write this down. Yeah, please. Thank you. But if we, what if we cannot make all their wishes come true? I do not want to disappoint anyone. We cannot make wishes come true if faith is lost on them. However, if a wish is prevented from becoming reality, when the wisher has their hopes set upon it, that is when we should worry. What happens to those wishes? When the wish dies, it can destroy other wishes as well. What? Why are the stars dying? The wishes of the world are not safe. The stars... In th Does that need sentry? Those th I'm, I'm overlooking again. The stars in the <laughs> sky are fragile and they can easily die. The dark forces of the universe seek to destroy these wishes. This is why star warriors exist. God damn it. <laughs> Does that need centering? It's been a sentence we've uttered for the past half year. Uh, the centering on Stella text is new because he didn't have bubbles before, remember? Yeah. So yeah. he could have done the whole centering trick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he didn't know at the time. I didn't even know then. And that was like, a, like what, weeks ago? Yeah. Oh, the whole story of Scott learning how to center things in the bubbles through CSP's features. Ooh. That was when we were done. Yeah. We, we learned that when we were done. It was the worst. That, that, that's why I had like a moment of laughter, just like losing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. These seem to be energy resources. <laughs> Uh, yeah, make the notes for this page in particular because there's a few things we can tweak up here, I think. To be fair. Okay, I'll put other tweaks too in parentheses and move on. Yeah. The next page should be up now. Oh, right, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to forget throughout this whole stream. Almost all my pop turk. I will protect the stars, but there is something I have to do. I need to see my father. I want to let him know that I'm doing all right. My dear child, you cannot speak to your father. He cannot hear you. I am sorry. What? Why not? As a cosmic being, you exist outside the reality of most mortals. You would need a rare item to speak with your father again. One you won't have within his lifetime. Pop, pop, pop. This one had a substantial, a lot of substantial air tune there. Yeah, this is a huge lore change. They're not forbidden to yeah. talk with them. We 
I... It's part of, like, some of the soft, uh, retcons that I did, I guess. It's, it's soft, but it's huge. Yeah. The whole, you can't feel thing. You can't feel, you can't have memories, you can't speak with mortals, you have to cut all ties with your mortal life, and those sort of things, mortals. But that kind of goes against the whole nature of grant the mortals' wishes, care about the mortals, be in contact with the mortals, oh, there's mortals on Crimson Planet that can see you. Mm -hmm. It was, they kind of were at battles and at ends against each other. So this is our fix <laughs> that. It was. Yeah, it, it made no sense to have that disconnect, so we kind of glued everything together. Yeah. Buy the rare items now for just twenty nine 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 ninety nine. Oh jeez, just make this a cookie clicker. Oh, we talked about that. Star Wars would be amazing for a cookie clicker type game. You collect Stardust. Game. Yeah. That could be the April Fools. One day. Star clicker. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's ready. a significant change, but it is it's one that makes all this just read a lot better. Yeah By the way now, you know why we had to go through and edit so many pages because if we're making for those of you who have read the comic before You can imagine if we're making this change here This propagates throughout all the pages from here on out. Yeah, it does. And there are multiple changes like this where everything's propagating and there's little to no art changed we were very careful in our dialogue edits. Yeah. Kind of regret having... Oh, thank you for the follow, Jade Bakes. Uh, I guess sort of regret having someone tell me that... Oh, I bet you... you know, I mean... I, I was struggling with like, oh, should they feel? Should they not feel? And then I don't know who. But I think someone told me that, oh, if they should not feel. I mean, are you not a good writer? I'm like, okay, I'll do it. I, I guess that that's the correct option, I suppose. I get swayed easily. I'm sorry. Like, I, I was heavily considering, like, not doing the feeling thing. Because it was too hard to write. And people didn't like it. I, I, that's what it was. Like, I was like, it's too hard to write people having yeah. no emotions. It's kind of hell. And then I guess yeah. I got challenged, and I was like, challenge accepted. And as Momo said, this has a, ro a lot of repercussions on Anthrax, a character yeah. that is going to reveal later. Yes! You're going to see more and more... Ch this change trickles down for the entire comic. We're ready to go to the next one, by the way. I can assure you that your father and uncle... Uh, uncle! <laughs> uncle! <laughs> Uh, I can assure you that your father and uncle are well. Your father's wish has been strengthened due to your brave act. But I don't want to be left alone here. You will not be alone. There are other Star Warriors just like you. Who are you poking, Mario? Much. <laughs> hey, come to hear you. That your father and uncle. <laughs> <laughs> My mom likes that character. The chef. From, yeah. Yeah. Swedish chef. I need a shower. I need, yeah, yeah, don't worry. You'll have the vibe, Kate. Go shower. Do not be stink. <laughs> do not retain the stinky, stinky gremlin. gremlin. Yeah, do, do not retain the stinky gremlin comic. Uh, uh, I don't even know what to say. Meat bird. What the hell is this? <laughs> Uh, let's see. We're almost ready to go to the next one. Get ready to go on the next one. Your turn. Hume oh, why do I get the temptations? Yeah, you do the temptations. Just do them. <laughs> Screw it. I've been doing, like, brother, you know, and all that stuff. Just do temptations. <laughs> it's a fun time. Have fun with it. Humans. Hey, don't sweat it, pale. We ain't gonna harm you. Howdy, name's Azir. What's your name? I, I am Emmy. Huh? Still don't have your new name? Ah, thank you for reminding me, Azir. <laughs> she needs a name. You know what? <laughs> you, you may be like, ah, oh, these temptations, but I think you did a pretty good job at replicating his, uh, the voice I imagined for him. Oh, Jay, howdy. If you want my ideal voice for Azir, it would be Wonder from Wonder Over Yonder. I never saw that cartoon, but I heard it's good. Oh, it's 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 a fun time. 
It's a very fun time. I guarantee so, it. So technically, TZ, you're right. A new name would be the best way to put it. But saying a name is not wrong. But having it be a new name, we'd have to wait. But it is a new bubble, so you could. The, the reason that this well, is going to give us that there were old old bubbles, and old bubbles couldn't be resized. But this bubble can be yeah. resized. However, Azure is saying new name. So Stella is just reinforcing the fact that she needs a name. Oh, yeah, you're right. Context of bubbles. Yes. It's important to look at the previous bubbles too, and not just yeah. make uh, it is based that on was one an, panel. That that's happened a lot during. Edits. That's actually happened a lot. What in, in the edits like, hey, shouldn't this be changed to this? Like, well, no, because if you look at the previous panel, it's like, oh. Or sometimes yeah, you look at right. the previous two pages. It uh, something like that has happened too. Yeah, so like, I don't blame you at all for that edit, and it just, you can tell I was even thinking like, oh yeah, that does make sense. But I had already forgotten what I read in the previous panel. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, Silfox, how you doing? Welcome. Silfox Hello. was, I believe, one of my earliest supporters of Star Wars, so... This is kind of cool. Oh, welcome. Thank you for the follow, too. Hope you enjoy. Uh, next page is ready, by the way. Esmeralda. Yes. That name fits you well. I'm putting this music out here. Hey, I don't need another name. I'm not changing the name my father gave me. Whack. <laughs> no one talks to a goddess of the stars that way. Got it? <laughs> wow, trick. Is it Ezra Ezra her, her dead, dead name? name. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So fucked. We. Uh, you saw me at uh, Anthrocon. Uh, that was when I was still making the uh, the beginning of the comic. Trick. I love that. My dead name is. Oh no. I never once connected the dots. That's such an easy joke to make. It is. Why it's has amazing. no one ever connected those dots? Yeah, Kieran, same. I want to go to Anthrocon again in the future. It's just that I need to make sure, a hundred percent sure, that I can go to a convention in America and not be looked down for a magnifying glass. The next page is ready, by the way. She went from dad name to dead name. Thank you, Drake. <laughs> You're right. Karen, it's been six years. It's your page this time, Gunny. Oh, we're oh, keeping yeah. the music too, because it's, you know. Why not? Calm down, Riveline. I can understand why she would be angry at her name changing, but now is not the time. Esmeralda needs to finish her trial. We must make haste. Azur. Yes, ma'am? <laughs> you shall go with her, but first find a wish for her and explain the details of her trial. Let's go. But where are we go? So, this was the first breaking of the timeline that I pointed out to Scott. Oh yeah, for, we for can't those of say why though. We can't say why, but even to readers, oh, thank you, Azure and Ezzy have left the scene, but then in later pages, they're still with Rubleen and Stella, yeah. and then they leave a second time. Yeah. This was an accident, and the third panel was our attempt, our only way to fix it up without completely changing art and adding pages. So we're just saying, so Stella's just going, yeah, first find a wish for her and explain the details of her trial. So they go to do that. That is our entire way to patch up that timeline issue. Yeah. <laughs> Probably going to give you a follow so I don't forget later. Thank you, Zeth. The best part is no one ever pointed this out, which means it was minor. It doesn't affect the story much, but I noticed it and I couldn't stop laughing. And I showed Scott and it took me 10 minutes to explain to him why this was an issue. And then when it clicked, Scott, you weren't happy at all. <laughs> I was not happy. I wanted to just pull my hair out. For those of you who are seeing this comic for the first time, we'll point out the other place where they leave so you can connect the dots. Oh, thank you, Kate. Next page is ready, by the way. 
Calm now, Rubeline. It is imprudent to prevent others from fighting for what they believe in. But what about the trial? Asia's never guided one before. I don't trust her. She looks just like... She is not Doradus. She is different. But regardless, pay close attention to our dear Esmeralda. No more mistakes. A lot of changes on this page yep. for dialogue. Can you see them all? Also, That's about all the commentary I'm comfortable giving regarding the changes on this page. Don't raid this. For those that also are wondering, uh, Rubelain does have a Russian accent. This was way before all the events. I don't want to get into it, but that's just him. <clears throat> okay, let me know on the next page. Yeah. It, it, it is uh, Doritos. Doritos, not Doritos. Uh, next one. Next one? Hey, yeah, you get to read this one. Hey. You get Asia. I apologize. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I apologize for rushing this. Normally, we would meet to find a suitable wish, but Esmeralda must leave at once. Rubeline, you know what to do. Intervene when necessary. I'm going to pause right there. This is already broken the fact that they left the scene. Those two characters are still somewhat present. <laughs> yeah. So this is, this is our way to fix it up. Yeah. Also, look at the uh, chibi uh, Stella there. Yeah. In the bubble. If you want to zoom in there. Really, you know what to do. Intervene when necessary. Is that a star? Nah, just a glimmer of a wish. I got it from a nearby star for you. What are you going to do with it? You're gonna grant a wish. This is a massive fix, and I can't go into the details of why. But it's a massive fix. That's what we're. That's exactly what we're trying to leave as the assumption. Momo is that they just went to go look at some stars and wishes. Zio, that would require adding and removing pages, and that yeah. was too much work. I wasn't going to like redraw pages. It, it, I, I, if I had the power, I would have like redrawn like twenty of the pages from the early chapters. But I'm not going to do that because that's bad. Uh, that's bad, bad web comic. Bad juju. Yeah, that's bad web comic health. I'm afraid. Yeah, because once you start replacing pages, then that puts you down a road of just constantly redrawing your comic. You fall into uh, rewrite slash uh, uh, retcon uh, limbo. A lot of comics die that way. So you, if you're confused, just have some patience. It'll all tie up in the end. Yeah. Trust us. Yes, we Tim went for Timberland a comic lot is Caitlyn, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Let me know what's next page. I thought we were going to zoom in on the Stella face as well. Oh. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it's a good way to show characters speaking instead of a bubble, but they, you can't put the bubble in the... Yeah. You're doing a good job at holding off uh, from going too ham on the records and ridges. Yes. Yeah, exactly. That was our intent. You know, next one. <clears throat> Don't worry, it ain't too hard. We have trials to prove you're a true star warrior. The trial is complete once the wish comes true. Wait, so are we the ones that grant wishes? Not exactly. We have to tend to the crops by getting rid of the weeds. Otherwise, the whole crop goes bad. Uh, yes? What he means is, we protect stars from the influence of dark matter. I don't think much changed here. No, me neither. It's pretty, pretty solid. That Asia voice, no, is that, is it bad? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's great. Dark man. <laughs> 
Uh, you can go it's to so the next it's one, by the way. Uh, why is all the Okay, fine. You want me to do it? No. No, I'll do it. Alright. Good luck. If the dark matter manages to kill a star, it transforms into a black hole. Not only is that star lost, surrounding stars get pulled in by the black hole. Since the dark matter can't destroy many stars quickly, they collectively attack one to destroy the other ones. Yeah, all animals in the pan must be cared for individually. Otherwise, Azura, how many times have I told you to make sense? He means that we, the Star Warriors, must care for every wait, wait, single wait. star. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, Curious Case. <laughs> curious, it, that's a Curious Case. For the follow. Did anything change here? Mm, yes. Oh, yeah, we removed the color from the stars. Oh, God. Oh, my, my heart. <laughs> oh, I already feel like Gunny's suffering. I, I, I clicked it this time. That's how I feel. Yeah. For, for you want to explain that, noticed, please? Yeah, some of you may not have noticed <laughs> that these stars up here, the, twi the, 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 the twinklers. Zero gifted a tier one sub Thank you for the gift Nostra. sub. They have given Thank you. For us it is. Thank you. Okay, now you can explain. Also, Momo might be right that there was also a re reference to life somewhere, but I don't remember anymore. Uh, <laughs> we removed the rainbow colors from the stars, from the glimmers. Uh, they're not stars, but, the, but they're glimmers. Uh, because uh, that led into a piece of lore, mm. a piece of story that has never been touched on and will never be touched on again. Oh, yeah, that was that was from the old... Uh... When Star Warriors used to be a a a, a spin-off story, yeah, in moments. So it in. was something that was misleading people. That glimmers of wishes had colors corresponding to everything. So Scott actually had to recolor the lighting on these pages. Yeah, like right here, the white light hitting them had to be recolored. Yeah, because that used that used to be a a blue star, I think it was. Oh, so you may have noticed that. Azure and Rubelite are showing their proper faction symbols. Oh yeah, look, it, looky, looky, looky. They didn't have them before, for a stupid yeah. reason that I thought. And we can't say the reason. Yep, we can't say the Just reason. Just know either. that it's been fixed. You spotted a color star in Rubelite's helmet. Can you look at the helmet scanning? Uh, no. No, they're white. Oh, back then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were do okay. We were doing these uh, rewrites. Oh, yeah. That's a detail that <laughs> nobody would notice. There, there are reflections of Esmeralda and Rublin's helmet doing dialogue, too. And, like, the bottom one there. Um, I like reflection stuff. It's fun. Oh, well, okay. As I was going to say, we were doing the page edits for patrons. At Foxglove Comics, join our Discord. It's a very wholesome community. Uh, we have memes too. <laughs> I like how that that's my pitch. We have memes. Join it, yeah, damn it. Memes. But you may have noticed also that they're not called stars or wishes, they're called glimmers. And I want you to think what a star is for a second, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's all you need to know. Come to Fox Club. We have the main maze. We can go to the next one. By the way. I had always wished upon the stars, but I never knew that they were this important. That should be emphasis, actually. Uh, do I if wanna... you want it to be, I will note it down. Yeah, I note it down. We could grant so many wishes. Well, you see, the wishes ensure that the dark matter can't wage war on our universe. So the more wishes we grant, the safer the universe becomes. I can't say I understand any of this, but I'm ready for my trial. Da 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 da. Afro circuit. A star is a ball of flaming gas. Yes, you're correct. Yeah. Do you want to explain what Zio is? So okay, wait. Good job, Caitlin. A glimmer would be sort of cosmic manifestation in natural phenomena. Exactly. 
Exactly. That's exactly what we tried to communicate. Y'all are right. I'm glad it came through. So here's the point I want to make. No one ever answered this correctly before. And with those edits we just did, everyone just answered correctly. Guys, stars are supremely important in the entire comic. You're lost, Zia? How are you lost? We're actually curious because if, if there's something that you're lost on, you can just chat about it and we'll... We'll see... Uh, I, feedback is important. Right? Stars are granted wishes and glimmers are some sort of cosmic manifestation of a new wish. I don't nope. understand the whole stars as wishes and stars as scientific bodies of gas in space. Same things, you. Yep. As said on the as said on the very first page, which, which you might have missed if you came in late. In the very first page, it was stated that stars are literally the the wishes people have. So you make form a wish to star forms. Mm -hmm. People Saying glimmers are just a cosmic manifestation of a wish. People. So it's just glimmers are how you look at them without literally going up to a sun and touching a sun. <laughs> yeah. Gunny pointed out to me that he thought that there, there were two separate things. Or it seemed like it was two separate things before. Yeah. I wonder how many stars out there are. I wish it was Friday. <laughs> There's a lot of Friday stars. <laughs> Oh my god, Friday Star Child. <laughs> I am the essence of Friday. We've not gotten to those level of details, Zio, but we may someday. Yeah. Wishes are now physical objects. Yep. You I uh, wanna be that you wanna be Friday trick? How do you explain the sun? It's a star. It is a star, yes. Do with that information as you would like. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to the next uh, page here in a moment. Little blazeball reference for those in the know. Throws Gunny into a nearby star. Why? <laughs> <laughs> the sun is someone's wish for a tan. Okay, you can go to the next one. Oh, that would be awful. I am confused, and it's Gunny's fault. I get confused. I think it feels like the people who know the story for the longest and are seeing this now will be the most confused. Yeah. Because we we made these edits with new readers in mind. So there are going to be things that break your previous conceptions that will yeah. cause confusion. So feel free to ask us questions to clarify things for what's changed. And this is tailored for new readers. As a reminder, this is the story as I have always intended it. But apparently I never was able to communicate that right. People may see oh, wishes, stars, separate things, right? No, it's all the same. Like, they, they all have relationship with each other. Maybe that's where the confusion is coming from. Yeah. Oh, and uh, JJ Interpreter, it is not wrong to talk about future pages, but we're not going to provide commentary on them right now. Until because we get we're not there. In the, at those pages yet. Yeah, in case there are new readers present, basically. Yeah. Ah. Glad to hear you're ready. I shall send you both off this instant. Huh? It appears the wish is... there. Guide Erasure. Wow, still a... I have an important matter to address. I still have some questions. Good luck, Esmeralda. Wait, come back. Sadness face. So this is Star Wars, the gunny cut? Incorrect. This is not a gunny cut. No. This is Star Warriors. It's the polished version. Well, it's true that Gunny did make suggestions for how things can be interpreted better in the story. Never once there was a moment where Gunny did something on his own. It was always consulted with me first if I approved it. Yeah. I pretty much asked Scott, like, hey, what was your intention here? What led into these intentions? And this is my problem that I wish to resolve by knowing your intentions. I think I've shut down like four of Gunny's ideas too. Yep. 
there weren't many things I shut down from Gunny when uh, he was suggesting things because a lot made sense. Because I... Okay, I need to explain. For the rewrite, the first thing we ever did was establish the timeline and everything I wanted to tell. I gave him all the lore, everything that existed. I gave him the timeline of things that occurred, of things that you, you haven't seen yet. And then I, I wrote him, an entire prologue. I gave him like 10 chapters worth of information. And characters, too. Yeah. And then I went in like, okay, Scott. I have ideas of how to fix all this together. I'm going to write a prologue for you. I wrote a prologue and then everything cascaded from there. Yeah. How many pages was just we have like a document that has 12... I think it's around 30. Uh, like the actual timeline documents are around 12 or so pages. Oh, 30 pages. If, okay, yeah, there's 12 documents. Yeah, if, if, if you count everything else in total, it's around 30 pages. Yeah. Because there's, this, it's not... there's the past that you guys don't know. Yeah, and it's not 30 pages of uh, details is 30 pages of where like half a sentence constitutes multiple comic pages. Yeah. So it's, it's massive. A overarching story. Not the beats. We can go to the next page now. You get to read this one. Take care, Momo. Take care, Momo. So. How do we protect a wish? We follow some simple steps. I'll tell you once we've landed. Can't Rubelin come along? Trials must be faced with only one partner. They get a partner? He's a bit scary. Nah, there ain't reason to be afraid of him. She better not interfere. Stella's orders are clear. Ruin, ruin this wish, Esmeralda, and I dispose of you. There's some story there. <laughs> He's rapping. <laughs> oh yeah. She better not interfere. Still his orders are clear. When it says Meralda and I dispose of you. <laughs> oh my god, he is rapping. <laughs> Trick wants the musical number already. Oh no. That, that that's my Star Warriors the meta. musical. I was dead once, and I'm alive again. Time to grant wishes until the end. Yeah, it's gonna be a great musical. We can go to the next one. That is not the oh, next hey, one. Oh, hey, that's not the next one. I need, I need to load up the pages. One moment. Because that was the end of chapter one. Oh, this is gonna be tedious. Gunny, do you want to hear the Otakon once snake uh, warned Snake about Hatsune Miku? You want to sure. hear it? Let me load it up. Snake, it's Otakon. I have a warning for you. We just got a hot tip. Hatsune Miku is in the area. <laughs> Snake, you be careful. She could sneak up on you in any minute. She's a twin-tailed voice synthesizer android. I don't know how you're going to battle her. You've got to watch it. She has the power of a god. And Intel tells me she actually created Minecraft. That means what? she's really smart. You be what? careful, Snake, whatever you do. Are you listening to me, Snake? No. Snake? 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 Snake! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, it's Otakon warning Snake about Hatsune Miku. What do you mean what it is? That's exactly what it is. I'm gonna share the link of this because it's really funny. I love Hatsune Miku, the creator of Minecraft. <laughs> it's the actual voice actor of Otakon, by the way, doing this. <laughs> I'm surprised you never heard about it before, Gunny, with, uh, with all the mentions of Minecraft. Listen, I may be a fan of the game, <laughs> but the Minecraft community is too big. Fair. Alright, do you want to give everybody like a five minute break because we just yeah. finished a chapter? I need to I need stretch my legs. Five minute break, everyone. 
Yep. Five minute break. I'll be here. I'll be reading chat. Damn. Oh god. That was me. Okay. To answer questions. <laughs> All right. We're taking a break between chapters. Uh, we're starting chapter two to answer whose question was it? Phoenix drop. How many chapters there are? Uh, there are five finished chapters and an interlude of three pages. And we're currently up to page 23 in chapter six. So we just finished uh, chapter zero, which is three pages and chapter one. Uh, we're going to get started on chapter two soon. So in total, we're on chapter six, halfway through it. And we're two hours into the stream. How's everybody doing? You enjoying the comics so far? Enjoying your hard work? Ooh, we got 34 people. Nice. If you missed any of the pages that we went over before, this is a great time to get caught up. Just visit StarWarriorsComic.com. All the pages we've read on the stream so far are available publicly on the website. So you can get caught up before we resume reading chapter two. Russet, it's the same thing. The ethereal existence of a wish births a star in space. That's literally what it is. Wish, wishes are <laughs> wins. Wishes are physical objects now. Very good question, curious case. Very curious. We'll get to that eventually. Someday. Is there a similar read-along for the other Fox of Comics anywhere? No. This is a very unique, very rare thing to happen in the webcomic industry, a relaunch of a webcomic. And relaunches are incredibly rare, and even with those being rare, most don't do read-alongs like this. So this is actually a pretty unique experience. We actually touch on that Zio in later pages as part of the rewrite. Yeah, pretty much Russet. Glimmers are just a way of observing a wish. Because we haven't gotten to these pages yet for the new readers, but you'll recall as a, what's the right term? Legacy reader, I guess? As a legacy reader, you'll recall that you see glimmers uh, during Esmeralda's trial as well. So the confusing thing was if we were to call those wishes and or stars, it doesn't make sense for wishes to be physical stars and yet also to pull out this semblance of a star out of Ezzy's corpse. Those concepts were confusing. That's why I call them glimmers now. That's why glimmers are just an observable wish. Observation of a wish. So when a cosmic being observes a wish, it's a glimmer. It's a little glimmer. Just a little shiny, shiny thing. Awesome. A little glimmer. Listen, one thing that we do want to make clear, we Scott and I knew these questions would be coming up, is everybody asking, what about this kind of star, that kind of star, this kind of heavenly body? We're not aiming to explain the universe. <laughs> 
you get the story you're given. Apply it how you wish elsewhere until we give it otherwise. <laughs> I know you want to know. But there's too much universe to fit in a webcomic. We did choose this path, which is why we made it simpler. We may use those elements of the universe later for storytelling reasons, for narrative reasons. That's why we're not defining them right now. Because if we define them right now for curious readers, we lock in how we tell our story in the future. That's part of what led down this path of needing the rewrite, was too much was shared to readers before it was developed fully for the story. So like a lot of things that people were told that weren't in the comic yet has changed as a result because it actually doesn't fit with the comic at all. Thank you very much, Vin Fox. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Oh, we already knew that this is going to cause issues for those who are doing the Star Warriors RP. And we actually had to tell ourselves up front, as much as we love the community creating things and having fun with our lore and story, we can't let what others do hold back on us developing the comic. So if we did something, we did it because it was better for the comic. And if it had repercussions elsewhere, we just had to bite the bullet. Thank you, Russet. Because that's the danger of forming something large and cohesive off of a constantly changing narrative, such as a webcomic. RP already ha that the RP server already has its own canon that's separate from the comic for a lot of things. So whatever they do, they do. And you'll actually see with things like the RP community in mind, I actually helped. You'll oh, this, this is much later pages. Um, I helped redefine and rewrite systems to be more open ended, kind of like a, a D and D rule book, so that you all can add on to things without worrying too much about what's canon. I think Trick will actually really enjoy that because I, I legitimately think I developed a system in one page that works for any tabletop campaign. That won't be until, let me try to remember. Chapter five, near the end of, cha I think it's chapter five, like page 43, somewhere around there. So you'll see that in like about six, seven hours at the earliest. No, maybe nine hours actually. It is an all-day stream. We started two hours ago. Like we, per I, I woke up at six a.m. to get ready for this, and I already have like a dinner order ready to arrive later today. Hey, welcome. Saying hi to my mom, she woke up. So, hey Scott, look in the general uh, channel of the Star Warriors team server. Yes, I will. Uh, 
Uh-huh. Yeah, there were uh, people were asking a lot of questions about like, oh, what are stars? How about all this? And I had to lay down the law of we're not defining the entire universe and we're not going to share how other things in the universe work because yeah. then they become narrative instruments later. Absolutely. And how we put the comic first. And unfortunately, the RP team and other communities working on things will just have to adapt because we're putting the comic first. But that said, comic is always I first. Yeah, I did make sure that our systems were more open ended to help them. Ah. <sighs> sorry, I like. Sorry about earlier. I'm doing a lot of multitasking. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, I didn't see if my mom was waking up. I'm drawing the thing. I'm, you know, you know how so it is. My, yeah, my advice for dealing with dialogue is don't focus on writing dialogue for your characters within the story you're trying to write. You need to make the characters live before you can put them in your story. And what that means is just create scenarios. What would happen if character X spills coffee on character Y? How would they talk? How would that hash out? Just do little things like that. Put the characters in a room together, figure out what they would say to each other, how they would act with each other based on what's happening in your story at any given point in time. Just put them in a black box and develop their personality in a black box in their own little events uh, out of uh, out of character scenarios. And before you know it, they'll be coming with their dialogue for you in your head when you go to your story. Mm -hmm. Oh no! What? Um, I forgot to. Okay. There's a reward here, the confetti one. It's apparently mm -hmm. like sending notifications of emails and whatnot. I gotta... They don't send emails. Well, I don't. Oh, sorry, no, not emails. They send the uh, things on the request queue. Yeah, they go to the request queue. Not anymore. Yeah, it's. No joke, the longer you work with the character, the more the character actually speaks through you because it's, it's a internal role play. If you're working with a char character for the first time, it's going to be cold, it's going to be hard. You need to have them come to life outside the story you're developing first. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, no, we, we're the same. Something comes to mind, we got to write it down. That is, we will forget. Uh. Ooh. All right. Are we going to be leaving break soon? Yeah, yeah. Okay. To just uh, move a few things over once more Remove the screen and start with the next page I almost put <laughs> I almost put chapter 2 page 1 in the trash instead of putting it as published <laughs> whoopsies oh, no. All right, you can go to the next one so, oh, real quick question. What do you do if one character becomes overpowering? For example, drowning out the others you're trying to write for? Okay, imagine what it would take for somebody else to talk over them, to interrupt them. How would they react to that? Give other people the voice, Give create a scenario. You don't even need to have fuel for a scenario. Just imagine the results of a scenario where the person that's uh, over talking becomes the one that's talked over. What would that be like? What would be the, the, the dynamics there? And that's how you explore how these characters would interact together if one of them is taking over the room. You may learn, oh, this one other character would be nice about it, and then they would be talked over anyways. But this other character would put their foot down, and you have some dynamics going on. Just explore these people virtually in your head. Like, oh. <coughs> are you okay? <laughs> I think the dip went bad. Because I got some Oh, dip. no. I'll be back. Oh, God. Uh.
Yeah. Oh, another piece of advice that as Trick said, you're, you're the, you have the power of the camera. You don't need to focus on somebody take, taking over an entire conversation if the contents of the conversation are not story important. You can have the end of that conversation being what's observed. You know, the classical trope of somebody coming up to the door, the door swings open, and character A comes out flustered, and character B is just still talking still. You can show the results of somebody taking over a conversation without making the entire conversation scene. You can tell a story of what just happened through a few key events and details rather than every single detail being shown to the reader. Yeah, Scott just had to leave because his dip went bad. Uh, sorry, her dip went bad. So one more question. I was still curious how to avoid rambling on and on in the dialogue. That's really hard to say because that's sort that depends on the story. Sometimes you just need two characters talking it out. The the question you want to ask yourself is what is the reader getting? That is your number one customer, is the reader. What does the reader get out of this conversation? What could the reader get if it wasn't this conversation? If what the reader gets out of a conversation is a single piece of fact, can you boil it down further, reduce the dialogue, and still get that fact across and the same emotions? Could it have more emotional impact because the characters were more uh, sufficient in what they said? Or do you want to show that the characters are struggling to express what they're saying? That's when they have to talk more. That's when they stumble on their words. It depends on what you're trying to show the reader. If you're just having dialogue for the sake of them talking casually over and over again, that may very well be fine. You, that may be the kind of story you prefer is listening to people talk. Just having them walk down the street, talking with each other, talking at their uh, campsite or what have you. Maybe you want to write a comic where it's just heartfelt dialogue between people. That's valid. Uh, beta readers. Uh, my advice for beta readers. Probably the best advice I can give is instead of what to look for in a beta reader, is how to become one. Because once you know how to become one, you know what to look for. Uh, my beta reading started a long time ago, and my typical path was figuring out, okay, this was my first interpretation of this page. Now this is my interpretation after a few rereads. Are they the same? If they're not, there's an issue. I need to express uh, what it was like my first time reading through versus my fourth time reading through. I need to communicate, this is what I got out of your page. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I think is happening so far, and this is what I think might happen later. Basically, give, dump what your perspective is. And if you feel that something's off, propose how that perspective could be strengthened. What is the weak point? Basically, point out why is this point weak? Why does this confuse you? Because a bad beta reader will just go, I'm confused. Without telling you at all what, what part confuses you. Uh, what part is misleading you. Things like that. It's just, it's just like, if, if I could simplify it further. If this was somebody beta reading um, an essay. If you hand somebody an essay and they hand it back to you saying that this confused me. You wouldn't know where in the essay to fix it. You need them to take a highlighter and say, These, this sentence conflicts with that sentence. And that they conflict for this reason, thus I am confused. That is what good beta reading is. I'm catching up with chat. <laughs> Thank you, Trick. Oh yeah, first drafts should be a lot of rambling. You, okay, so you, when you're writing, 
you want to get all your ideas on paper, everything you want to have communicated, and then start writing dialogue that communicates all of this, and then start your work on reduction. Look at what you've written and, t and ask yourself, do they need to say this or do this to communicate what I want? If the answer is no, ask yourself, what is it adding? Is it important that that's added? If the answer is no, reduce. Like a lot of this rewrite, we actually did do reductions. There's some pages that are, I think, around 70% word count of what they used to be. And they actually tell a more story at the same time. It takes practice. And to be clear, all this advice I'm giving, the fact that I'm co-writer on this webcomic, I've been in the webcomic scene for over 15 years. I have over a decade of experience, and I'm community manager and admin of Foxglove Comics. So don't compare to me. Just because you're having to ask questions and I'm giving answers, that shouldn't be a case of, oh, I should have known better. Why am I asking this? It's a case of this person has a lot of experience and is passing it on to me as a jump start. I have not made any comics myself, so I'm actually in this weird scenario of I've only ever helped. Uh, I've never helped to write a comic, but I have, with other communities, uh, found ways that maybe this could have been written better. Here's some alternative ways this could have been written, etc. Um, like one use case is Poppy Opossum, a web comic that kind of infamously ended uh, <laughs> by being canceled. I actually sat down with other friends and for half a year was just talking about how could this have been written differently so it wouldn't have had to have ended this way and just drafting scripts that would fix it up. Hi, Mike. Uh, coming up with story. Welcome back. Um, so it's, I've really just done it as fan works. This is my first webcomic where I've actually had my works applied and published. Hey. Yep, there's a lot of people asking webcomic advice, uh, beta reading stuff. Sorry, I missed it. I was dying. It's okay. So, the dip I had was a spicy dip, and I was like, oh, it's spicy, but then the aftertaste hit, and I was already mid-swallow, and I swallowed it, so. And, uh, yeah. Just drink some water. Yeah, I have some water. I have... I got some actual... Well, I, I didn't have any dips, so I brought cream cheese for what I wanted to eat. And I have water and juice. Yeah, just have fun with D&D. is a great place to flesh out your writing skills. Yeah. Start with like, D&D. You don't have to become a writer. Your goal is not to become a writer when you play in D&D. Your goal is to, have is to get more comfortable with having flexible stories, figuring out what is the minimum that needs to be said to get your point across. Yeah, don't be scared, just get it out. Don't care about quality, just get it out. Yeah. If, if you're scared about quality, you're never going to get anything out. Your well, first if, comics are going to suck. Yeah, if I... Don't would, kid if, yourself. If I was scared about quality, you would have never seen Star Wars. Yeah, don't kid yourself. Tamburlaine, I think that's Caitlyn's seventh comic, if I remember correctly. Star Wars, that's your fifth or sixth? Star Wars is my sixth project. Not yeah. comic, necessarily. This is my first webcomic. This is, however, my sixth project. Yeah. And this isn't my first time writing for a webcomic, but it's my first time my work is published. 